our previous videos, we have discussed what an every event is and the guidance that has been issued by the National Patient Safety Agency and NHS Improvement between 2005 and 2016. These alerts aim to prevent the risk of death or harm due to the use of incorrectly placed nasogastric tubes. Links to these videos are on the NGPAD website or on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe to our mailing list to never miss a video. This video focuses on the data publicly available on never events involving nasogastric tubes and the analysis of the causes of these incidents. Much of the information in this video is taken from the NHS Improvement Resource Set Initial placement checks for nasogastric and orogastric tubes from July 2016, which accompanied the patient safety alert, nasogastric tube misplacement, continuing risk of death and severe harm from the same year. Despite six patient safety alerts on considerable continued focus from healthcare professionals, the number of never events associated with nasogastric tubes remains stubbornly high with a continuing upward trend. The important question is, why is this the case? The NHSI resource set from 2016 provided important information about what continues to cause nasogastric tube never events. This provided an analysis of 95 incidents reported to either the Strategic Executive Information System or the National Reporting and Learning System, which took place in the four and a half years between September 2011 and March 2016. This included 32 reports where the patient has subsequently died. Of the 95 incidents, 45, which equates to 47%, related to the use of x-rays. 23, which equates to 24%, related to pH testing. So, 71% of the never events were caused by incorrect use of the approved methods for testing NG tube position. Of the remaining 27 incidents, 4 related to the use of an electromagnetic device to check placement. Two, related to the use of the WASH test, the auscultation of air using the NG, the patient safety alerts clearly state this should never be used. Five were caused by miscommunication, meaning the NG tube position had not been checked at all. Two appeared to have been caused by displacement following correct initial placement. And 14 did not have a clear explanation of the cause. Where the related cause of the never event was x-ray, 40 out of 45, which equates to 89%, were due to misinterpretation of an x-ray. A further five, which equates to 11%, were due to the incorrect x-ray being reviewed. In the 23 incidents relating to pH testing, five were related to flushing of the NG tube prior to placement being confirmed, something that was prohibited in patient safety alerts. Two related to the NG tubes being used after pH was found to be outside of the safe range of one to 5.5. For the other incidents, there was a lack of clarity in the documentation which hampered a cause being pinpointed. However, there were suggestions that the use of incorrect pH paper, lack of training and competence, use of the NG tube prior to correct placement being established, a delay between the test and the use of the NG tube were contributing factors. In five of the incidents, it was stated in the patient's notes that the pH was within the safe range, but the actual pH was not stated. Some overarching observations were made that related to many of the incidents. A lack of documentation or evidence of initial and ongoing training and competency checks was common, although this had been mandated in several patient safety alerts. And in some cases, the MDT decision was described as sometimes tokenistic or not revisited. 